What is going on guys? It's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video. So today we got another Friday which means Zer has returned to the tower. So let's see what he's going to bring to us this weekend for week 19 I believe. And so Zer is going to be in this bottom area next to the Crucible Quartermaster and the Crucible Room in general. And let's see what he has. Let me see what they've got. It is my will. So it looks like Zer is going to be giving us a lot of stuff to help gear us up for the new Crota's End Hard Mode, which was just announced in the recent weekly update on Thursday. And uh, so they announced that Hard Mode is coming out for Crota's End on January 21st, which is a Wednesday, next week Wednesday. And so a lot of this stuff is going to help us prepare and get ready for hard mode once it drops on Wednesday. So that's why he's selling all helmets because I believe it is easier to get to level 32 with an exotic helmet since the helmet is a little bit more rare to get in the uh, normal mode of Crota Zen right now. But um, helmets do help you get to level 32 easier just because it's easier to get the gauntlets, the chest piece, and the boots. So... Um, this is why he's probably selling all the helmets, just to help us get to level 32, because we need to be 32 since the raid is 33 for hard mode. And then he's also giving us some really good guns and upgrading on some of the guns as well, if that made sense. So anyway, let's get into it. Exotic gear for the Titan. We got the Glass House, which is a new one from the Dark Below DLC. Uh, pretty cool. And uh, its perks are increased melee attack speed, replenish super energy when you kill an enemy with a grenade, and blessing of light and weapons of light last longer. Um, I don't know how I feel about this, uh, just because when you use your uh, Ward of Dawn, you don't really far or stray too far away from it, and so maybe it will be useful um, toward the end when your Ward of Dawn disappears a little bit. But um, in general, I think this one is just okay. It's decent. If you want a starting exotic, this one's not bad. If you need it to get to level 32, go ahead and buy it. Um, because he's not upgrading any helmets for the Titan. Uh, but I'd say that the Armamentarium or Rune Wings, or if you're looking for a helmet specifically for Titans, uh, Helm of Saint 14 is probably better than this. So uh, that's my opinion, but you can go buy it if you want to collect it. If you have a lot of strange coins, you want to try it out or whatnot. For the Hunter, we have the Acleophage Symbiote. Once again, really good. I love this helmet. My favorite Hunter helmet. I use it all the time. Extra Golden Gun shot per use of the Golden Gun. Increased grenade throw distance and more super energy from grenade kills. I love the Symbiote a lot. I recommend it no matter what. Even if you use Blade Dancer, uh, Golden Gun, or not Golden Gun, Gunslinger is useful in a certain scenario. So I'd recommend... Even if you don't use uh, Gunslinger as often as Blade Dancer, I still recommend buying this for any Hunter. And then for the Warlock, we have the Obsidian Mine. Finally, he sells the Obsidian Mine. I've gotten mine out of an engram because I was lucky enough to do so. But finally, everyone can experience the Obsidian Mine. Really fun, really good helmet. Um, if you like using Nova Bombs, if you like using Void Walker in general, I recommend this 100%. I love using this helmet. It looks cool too. It's all black. I wish I could get a black shader to match it, but that would be uh, even better. So um, Obsidian Mine, really good. Increased grenade throw distance, increased super energy gain from killing minions of the darkness. And Nova Bomb kills reduce the cooldown of your next Nova Bomb. That thing is super ridiculous. Uh, when I played the raid for the first time in the uh, beginning part, um, I upgraded this helmet because I got it on like the first week. Um, the DLC dropped in the engrams that he was selling when he was selling the helmet engrams. And so I upgraded it, tried it out. And because the first part, the lamp section of the raid, has all those thralls all bunched up, uh, pretty much every time I drop a Nova Bomb, I just get it instantly back. And it's just super fun. It's, it's, it's just a lot of fun. Everyone likes using Nova Bombs. I recommend this 100% if you're a Warlock. And then for the weapon this week, it is the Icebreaker. He brought it back. A lot of people are saying, Zer's never going to sell Icebreaker. He's never going to sell Galahorn. He's just going to make us suffer all the time. So Icebreaker's finally here. Now everyone can finally have an Icebreaker. I know a lot of people have wanted this gun for such a long time. This gun and Galahorn is probably one of the two most sought-after guns in the game. 
and uh, now you can get one of the two and maybe Zer will sell Galhorn in the future but yeah so Icebreaker um, for the perks Icebreaker's victims spontaneously combust dealing damage to others nearby kind of like the precision damage make enemies explode kind of thing uh, pretty similar to that um, except you don't have to hit them in the head or in the precision spot and then missing a shot has a chance to return ammo directly to the magazine so really good I already have an icebreaker and I've gotten it in the nightfall in like the first month or so of the game I was really lucky getting an icebreaker that early on in the game and then I upgraded it when he offered it for upgrade so I already have one I was lucky enough to have one for a long time already and it's been really helpful uh, this is what I think um, Zer is doing um, by selling the icebreaker he's helping out people because uh, it's going to be pretty useful if you upgrade it and utilize it in the hard mode of Crota's End. Um, taking out like the boomers in the Crota Encounter. Um, it's just overall helpful. Taking out sword bears sometimes can be helpful. Um, I know a lot of people say Black Hammer rivals this gun a lot. And it does, but again, a lot of people may not have Black Hammer because it is a reward um, from beating Crota. So it's easier to get Icebreaker now that Zer is selling it. And then he's sending the exotic shard for 7 and no engram once again. So hopefully he sells engrams. Keep saving up your molten light and then when he brings it back, you can just buy a bunch. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to bring it back. He should be bringing it back because everyone's saving up on their molten light right now. Um, the only thing you can really use it for at the moment is for Iron Banner if you want to like reforge weapons or buy the tempered bonus for Iron Banner and stuff like that. And then for the upgrading of exotics for Hunter, we have Symbiote and Lucky Raspberry. Um, I'd go for Lucky Raspberry over Symbiote just because the stat roll on this one is lower than the one he's selling. So if you want Symbiote, just buy it for 13 strange coins instead. And then uh, Lucky Raspberry, the stat is pretty high. That's the only reason why I say. But Symbiote is the better one if you're looking for the better of the two. So you don't even have to upgrade it anything and just buy this instead. For Titan... Uh, these are just okay, Crest of Alpha Loopy and no backup plans. Uh, I'd say pass unless you really need it to get to 32 or something like that. And then for the Warlock, Skull of Dire Aham, Kara, and Light Beyond Nemesis. Both of these are just okay in my opinion. But um, if you need it again to upgrade to level 32, you can. I'd recommend Obsidian Mind though over this, so I would just buy this. If you're looking for a Warlock helmet, uh, I'd buy this instead of upgrading one of these too. For the guns, we have Bad Juju, Last Word, Plan C, Pocket Infinity, Thunderlord, and Galahorn. Uh, my recommendation for the order of priority would be Galahorn, just because Galahorn is going to be very crucial in Crota's End hard mode, like I said before. Uh, so Icebreaker, he's selling it. Galahorn, he's letting you upgrade it. Uh, this is really good, a really good preparation for Crota's End hard mode. Again, so upgrade those Galhorns if you haven't already. He's been letting you upgrade it for the past few weeks or so already. So upgrade it if you still have missed it. Uh, this is very essential in helping out your team in the raid hard mode. And then for everything else, uh, last word's pretty good for PvP or Iron Banner, Crucible. Um, and then everything else is kind of your preference. Plan C is not bad. Thunderlord's not bad. Especially for the Nightfall this week if you need to and stuff like that. So that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching as always. Stay tuned for more videos and I will talk to you guys later. Peace!